Hello students, myself Navdeep Patel and today we will discuss about the hydrogen bond. This is the new topic for you. Basically, what is the hydrogen bond? Hydrogen bond, it is the attraction force between hydrogen atom and electronegative element of another molecule. Okay, so this attraction force is known as the hydrogen bond. Look here this definition. Hydrogen bond is the defined as the attractive force which binds hydrogen bond of one molecule with the electronegative atom of another molecule. This attractive force is known as the hydrogen bond. This attractive force is known as the hydrogen bond. Take some examples. Okay. Look here. In HF molecule. In HF. Hydrogen fluoride. So look here in the hydrogen fluoride. It is a hydro the bonding between the hydrogen and fluorine like this. Okay, because fluorine contains seven electrons in the outermost cell and hydrogen contains one electron. So hydrogen and fluorine share one, one electron to get stable. Okay, but if here another molecule of hydrogen fluoride, another molecule of <coughs> hydrogen fluoride. So look here. This is fluorine atom, which is most electronegative element. Okay? And this is hydrogen atom. So look here, when both molecule, okay, when both molecule come closer, then the attraction force will generate between the hydrogen and fluorine. Because fluorine is more electronegative element, so fluorine get partial negative charge because this electron will attract by the fluorine. And hydrogen get positive partial positive charge like this. Fluorine contain partial negative charge and this contain partial positive charge. So negative and positive both charge attract to each other and this attraction force is known as the hydrogen bond. This is known as the hydrogen bond. Look here. According to the definition, attraction force between the hydrogen and electronegative element of another molecule. And this attraction force is known as the hydrogen bond. Take another example. Suppose in H2O, in H2O, water molecule, water molecule, look here, water molecule like this structure, okay, like this, okay. In this structure, one molecule is here and one here. Okay, this is a hydrogen atom, this is oxygen atom and this is more electronegative than the hydrogen. So, hydrogen atom attract towards the oxygen atom. So, that is why they form the hydrogen bond. This is known as the hydrogen bond and hydrogen bond show with the dotted line. Dotted line, these dotted lines show the hydrogen bond. Okay, take the screenshot of this uh, examples. After this, we will discuss the types of hydrogen bond. There are two types of the uh, hydrogen bond. First one, intermolecular hydrogen bond, and second one is the intramolecular hydrogen bond. There are two types of the hydrogen bond. First one, intermolecular hydrogen bond, and second one, intramolecular hydrogen bond. So, what is the inter uh, intermolecular hydrogen bond? When two and more than two. Atoms are involved in the forming of hydrogen bond. So, such type of the hydrogen bonding is known as the intermolecular hydrogen bonding. Look, this definition hydrogen bond form between two or more than two molecules of same or different compound is called the intermolecular hydrogen bonding. As you look in the previous uh, definition, like this HF, HF, so when F and H. When H and F form the hydrogen bond like this, okay? so this hydrogen bond is known as the intermolecular hydrogen bond because here one molecule, here one molecule and hydrogen bond will be formed between the two molecules of the same type of atom or a different type of the atom. So such type of the hydrogen bond is known as the intermolecular hydrogen bond. Intermolecular 
molecular hydrogen bond. Okay, students. Now, okay, what is the intramolecular hydrogen bond? Intramolecular when hydrogen bond form within a one molecule. That means hydrogen bond will be formed only within a one molecule. This is known as the intramolecular hydrogen bond. Like, uh, take some examples like ortho nitro phenol. Ortho nitro phenol. Okay. What is the formula of ortho nitro phenol? So, so this is the formula of phenol, and in ortho position, nitro group will be present. Okay. So, in this uh, uh, ortho nitro phenol. Intramolecular hydrogen bond will be written. How can we justify like this? Look here in this graph. This is the benzene ring, okay? And one oxygen is there and one hydrogen is there, okay? And in ortho position, nitrogen present and nitro group is present, then the one oxygen atom. So one oxygen is here and one oxygen is here and in this oxygen and nitrogen coordinate bond will be formed okay as the previous video will be discussed about the coordinate bond okay look this this hydrogen and this oxygen attract to each other and this attraction force is known as the intramolecular molecular hydrogen bond okay students so look here is this Hydrogen bond will be present in one molecule. That, so that's why it's known as the intramolecular hydrogen bond. But in this case, look here. Here, two molecules, hydrogen bond present between the two molecules. Here, two atoms of two molecules. So that is why it is known as the intramolecular hydrogen. And one more thing, and one more thing, uh, hydrogen bond will be formed by three elements Lung, like this four four means F means chlorine O means oxygen and N means nitrogen and strength will be like this chlorine is greater than oxygen is greater than nitrogen okay due to their electronegativity due to their electronegativity okay take a screenshot after this we will discuss the properties of hydrogen bond Okay, these are the some effect of hydrogen bond in physical property. That means the hydrogen bond, uh, how hydrogen bond affect the physical properties of the compounds. Okay. Here are some examples. Suppose like this, boiling point of NS3 ammonia is greater than PS3 due to the hydrogen bond. And boiling point of NS3 is greater than the PS3 due to the hydrogen bond. In this case, NS3, nitrogen contain more electronegative power than the phosphorus. That is why they form the hydrogen bond. So that is why boiling point of ammonia is greater than the PS3. Next one, at room temperature. At room temperature, water is liquid, but H2S is gas. It is very most important for a board examination. Okay, at room temperature, at room temperature, water is liquid, but H2S is gas. But you know very well. H2S and water both belong in the same group. So that is why they have the same property. But in this case, H2O liquid and H2O H2S gas due to the hydrogen bonding because oxygen has more electronegative power than the sulfur. And oxygen and hydrogen form the hydrogen bond. That is why this is the liquid and H2S is gas. In next case, molecular mass of ethyl alcohol and Dimethyl ether and dimethyl ether and ethyl alcohol both have the same molecular mass but differ in their physical state like this alcohol, ethyl alcohol is liquid in nature at room temperature but dimethyl ether, dimethyl ether is gas at the room temperature but they have the same molecular mass due to the hydrogen bonding due to the hydrogen bonding ethyl alcohol have the liquid state because ethyl alcohol contains the hydrogen bond in their molecules okay now next hcl is gas and hf is liquid you know hcl is gas and hf is liquid because strength of hydrogen bond in hf is greater than the 
HCl because HCl do not form the hydrogen bond. Four FO and fluorine, oxygen and nitrogen, only three elements can easily form the hydrogen bond with the molecules. So this is the strength of HF is greater than HI is greater than HBr is greater than HCl. Okay, how can you justify? How can you justify this molecule is more uh, powerful, uh, more powerful hydrogen bond than the other? So look this phone. If fluorine is involved in the formation of hydrogen bond, so it, it, this hydrogen bond is greater bonding than the oxygen. Okay, look here. Suppose HF in HF, fluorine and hydrogen like this. In fluorine and hydrogen, this the attraction force is greater than the water molecules like this oxygen, hydrogen. It is a form the hydrogen bond like this. Okay. So in this hydrogen bonding, and here my hydrogen bonding, this hydrogen bonding and this hydrogen bonding. Okay. So can you tell me which hydrogen bonding is more powerful? How can you justify? So this hydrogen bonding is more powerful than this because this is the order of strength of hydrogen bonding. Four F O M. Okay, students. In next video we will meet with the new chef.